11, making it a fully fledged university. At the mass, which was graced by Laikipia Governor Derito Moradi and his Nyeri counterpart Mutahi Kahiga and a host of other leaders, the late president's role as the chair of the university board of trustees was held as the reason for the university's stance today. He was termed as a visionary leader whose use of his position as a leader to serve the community. Leaders at the institution were urged to emulate his leadership with the university vice chancellor, Dirango Kioni, saying the president President's legacy has been cemented by the existence of the university. It's a very interesting decision, which also is something for us to learn about uh, the character of uh, uh, the late president. They made the decision that the institution needed to sustain itself and develop some kind of uh, revenue base. And that's why they, they bought the coffee estate. And the coffee estate was then to, uh, to be used as a way of uh, generating revenue to run the institution. And to work with him was to accept that you needed to prepare and to be, to, to be knowledgeable with the idea you are trying to present. i uh, give you another example. Kibaki gave us back our life. He gave us hope. And he started, he gave us the ability to start believing in ourselves. Things that is important for us, and I, I'm happy because we have very many young people here, is to um, listen more and say less. And um, also, uh, you have a, a wonderful role model uh, and many things that you can follow and lead from. And having a man we are all celebrating, who spent over half of his life as a politician is a powerful message for those of us in politics and those of us who are not in politics. That it is possible to do politics and do it well. It is possible to do politics as a gentleman. It is possible to do politics based on values and principles.